think it's fair that Ms. Simon has to accept at this point $100 for the damage done to her car? I offered her $3,000. She turned it down. I told her, don't get the court involved. I will pay you because we family. Why didn't you want the court involved? Because I didn't want to come to court. I don't want to deal with this. I'd rather get my auntie. This is my auntie. What do you think is fair? I think it's fair for her to pay me for my car. I've been going through a lot of stuff since my daughter's died. From her and other people, too. I was helping you. No, you wasn't helping me. I was uh, uh, excuse me. Don't talk kids. to each other and everything. Talk to us. Oh, you didn't. I think I have what I need. We'll excuse you and we'll deliberate on this matter. Okay. This courtroom is now in recess. Sometimes I think we have to look at the law through another prism. And sometimes the arc of the law has to bend a little bit to equate with fairness. And it seems to me that this plaintiff is blameless for what happened to her. And what happened to her is that a 15-year-old boy stole her car, is responsible for damages of over $5,000. This is a, a car that's valued at $15,000. And now the defense is that, well, he's making restitution at $100 a month, amounting to $2,200. So I'm not going to do anything before I speak to my <laughs> colleagues Look, I, I couldn't agree with you more about <laughs> the defendant. I think she said all the right words right, in right. terms of it's my son's fault, I accept responsibility. Right. But her attitude of sort of defiance and outrage at the plaintiff didn't really match the words <laughs> coming out of her mouth purporting right. to accept responsibility. Right. Yeah, and I think yeah. it's the relationship, right? This is auntie. You right. essentially put my kid in, in the system. I told you to keep them out, and this is what you right, did to, right, to family, right, is what she right. feels. But I do agree that the plaintiff is blameless. She did say that the estimate for just the exterior alone was 57.62. So if we take that into consideration and say we award her the court maximum of $5,000, her getting 22.18, I'm not even gonna count the 22.18 from the other co-defendant right. in this case, that just may help her cover what was damaged on the inside of the vehicle. Because again, alone, on just the exterior, it's 5,700. Yeah, I, I go along with that reasoning. I agree. Great. We have a verdict. Ms. Thompson, may I ask what you do for a living? I work 7-Eleven. How many days a week? Six days, seven days. The night shift? Yes. That's a tough job. Yes. You don't get paid enough. No. But I got to do something. Well, of course you got to do something. It's difficult raising one child. It is. But seven, Long seven. it's even more difficult. Mm -hmm. Now, remember what your son was accused of. I mean, taking a car... We we're, were all kids. We all did mm. foolish things. Yeah, but now this but, generation is the worst. Well, yes, but not only that, if a gun was really involved, this is life and death. <laughs> this is tragedy. This is the end of a life. That's true. I served as a judge in the criminal courts mm -hmm. in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. I have sentenced 13-year-old children to life imprisonment for murder, for I shooting people in the back for assassinating rival gang members. My brother was 16, he got And me. I remember the parents more than anything else sitting in the audience mm -hmm. crying real tears like you are. And yeah. I don't want your son or you ever be in that kind of a situation. So you have to do everything you can. Try, no, trying, you have to keep, keep trying. trying. I keep trying. I you keep have trying, to keep, keep trying. trying. You have to recognize mm -hmm. that this woman was blameless in this situation. She doesn't deserve your anger. She doesn't deserve your questioning her. She deserves your cooperation with her. And that's why I start paying, because and I feel like my And that's why we're going to give her every penny okay. that she asked for. All right. From the perspective of the courts, mm -hmm. young people who commit crimes, violent crimes, have to pay a price. Okay, so do I still have to... Is I'm still paying... Y'all about to pay her. We still got to pay her? Yes, make sure that our you definitely have uh, to pay the restitution if your son is not going to pay. Okay, is stop I'm, banging a I'm paper. Done here. Sit I down. Just walk you know you're not done here. I'm not done. When I'm done, I'm done, and then you are done. Mm. Okay, I understand. And as I would tell the parents and the young people that came before me, who thought they mm -hmm. were tough guys and they were gangsters, they think that by pulling what? a trigger that that makes them a man. And I said, power is in the pen. I can take this pen and sign away your life. That's power, that's respect, that's authority. That's why that's I don't put myself involved, so I don't have to worry about nobody using a pen and signing my life away because I don't even deal with nothing. Well, I you know, everything you're myself. saying is making our verdict as clear okay. as day. You already told verdict me, $5,000. Verdict is in favor of the plaintiff, okay. $5,000. I don't care. <laughs>